fall officially starts, of course, guys, at 9.54 tomorrow evening. And our very own Jenna Meisner headed to Delaware County yesterday to get into the season spirit. We I love did. that. Check it out. What better way to celebrate the official start of fall than at one of the most popular fall attractions? That's Linville Orchard. I'm joined by Farmer Norm. Norm, I'm in my flannel. I'm ready for fall. Thanks so much for having us. I'm glad you came out. Thank you. So we're starting in Pumpkinland, a very popular attraction, pretty self-explanatory, but tell me a little bit about Pumpkinland. Uh, it started in the 50s uh, with the Philadelphia uh, Flower Show, and uh, it's grown where literally 100,000 or more people will be here in the next six weeks. So people, they come from all over to find the perfect pumpkin, whether they're eating it, whether they're carving it. What is the secret? Because it's a bit overwhelming when you get here. How do you find the perfect pumpkin? Well, we're glad that beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and we sell all different shapes and size pumpkins here. But for me, I tell people you want a firm green stem that's uh, cut fresh. And you don't want any blemishes on the skin of the pumpkin so that you'll know it'll last till Halloween. Absolutely. And we have to talk about behind me, Peggy Ann. Tell me a little bit about Peggy Ann because she brings a lot of people as well. Yep, this is the 35th anniversary of Peggy Ann being in the uh, Guinness World Book of Records. And it was developed by Peg Linville, who's the matriarch of the operation, who sadly passed away a few weeks ago. So the family's honored that people are going to come out and continue to hold the tradition here at Lynn Villa. I'm local, so I grew up coming here to Lynn Villa, and I know just how good these apple cider donuts are. I wish it was smell -o vision because these smell so amazing. Tell me about them. These are our most popular bakery item. We literally sell thousands a day here on the weekends in September and October, and they're available now all year. And you're telling me that one will never be more than how many hours old? 10 hours old, we make them fresh every day. What we don't sell, we dispose of, and we start fresh every day. And you don't have to give away any secrets, but what is in these? Uh, Lynn Villa's own apple cider is the, one of the key ingredients, and then you roll them in sugar and cinnamon, and they're fantastic. They are fantastic. If my mother's watching, she can attest to how amazing these are. And let's talk about the caramel apples because you guys just started making your own caramel, right? Yep, the, the traditional red candy apple used to be the most popular, but a few years ago, Sue Linville went and took a course on how to make our own caramel. And now the caramel apple has surpassed the red candy apple, and they're also becoming very, very popular. All right, Norm, we've been walking around a lot, and now I'm tired. So we are taking a rest on the hayride, very popular as well. And we have some friends. Oh, we got the kids. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! Also, a very, very popular attraction is the hayride. Now tell me about the ride to the witch's house, because that opens this weekend. That opens uh, Friday night, and it's a friendly witch. You get a ride out there. She tells a story with a moral. And then you come back, you have marshmallows and hot apple cider. It's a great time. And ages 2 to 10, right? Well, 2 to 10 is our main age group, but we also have autumn moon hay rides. So for young couples going on a date. But if you're a kid at heart, anybody can go visit the Friendly Witch. Well, I'm definitely a kid at heart. And you also can see a lot of the land by taking one of these hay rides, right? Yeah, it covers uh, 150 of our 350 acres. And you'll get to see the different crops. And if it's uh, at night, hopefully the moon will be out, and it's a beautiful experience. And also when you're on this hayride, you can see some of the other really fun things you have to do here. So we're coming up to one of those scenes right now. Tell me a little bit about the apple slingshot. At the end is a very popular where we sell you a bucket of apples. You put it into a slingshot, right there. and you'll shoot you know, 100 to 400 feet at a number of different targets. Yeah. And from this point, we have our corn maze and also our straw bale maze, which is very popular. So lots of stuff to do, Norm. We had such a blast here today. Thank you so much for having us here. Uh, thank you. Oh, wow. I cool. had one of those donuts. Oh well, gosh. I'm not going to say I had just one. They, You can't have just one. It is addicting. They I, are so good. I had none. My question is... <laughs> I, I had you covered. I had you know, covered on that. Where, where are the donuts? Gone. We ate them all. And the They're caramel all gone, apples. Jay. Oh, my goodness, with the peanuts. That's yeah. it. We'll be right back with more <laughs> weather traffic and dreams of food from Lynn Villa. We'll be right back.